Hey guys, so I got this wooden fly box from Tankara Ya, and it's very, very interesting. I really like this, so I wanted to share it because I know there are a lot of other people out there, like me, who really appreciate a good uh, wooden fly box. And this one is different from anything I've uh, ever seen. It looks pretty unassuming at first, but once we go through the details, I think you'll see uh, why it's uh, so unique and special. So um, it's made actually by a company called Jisaku Ya, and they're a Japanese company, relatively new, but they uh, focus on making traditional um, uh, wooden products. And this one is actually made of cedar and Japanese cypress. And the outside has a, a very, very special finish. This is a technique called yakisugi. And basically that means uh, cedar charring. Uh, it's, a, it's a fire process where they char the exterior of the wood. And that makes it uh, weatherproof. So this technique was used on the outside of walls for things like houses or temples pagodas. And if you go to Japan, you'll actually see the, the finish on older buildings and, uh, and um, temples. So I've, I've actually seen it when I went to Japan. I didn't know what it was at the time. But anyway, um, also cedar is used because it's a natural uh, insect repellent. So um, very, very good choice of a finish for a fly box that's bound to get wet and be exposed to the elements and be knocked around a lot. So um, it just makes for a very, very interesting texture, and it's it's a pretty interesting tactile experience holding this in your hand. It actually, it feels uh, really cool, so uh, I, I really like that about it. Um, now, you've got uh, the, the outside, which is this dark, uh, dark uh, fired uh, finish, and it, when you open it up, it contrasts with a, a, a bright uh, color. And actually, it, this comes in uh, two versions, a bright and a dark. Uh, I got the, the bright color, and the dark one, they say, is lacquered, but I think it's actually stain, not lacquer. But I haven't seen it in person, so I don't know. But this is unfinished, so it's just the natural, the natural wood. And I really like a bright exterior uh, for fly boxes, but I particularly like the contrast that this creates uh, with the, the darker exterior. So as you can see, it's a six-compartment box, and um, it's a magnetic closure. So you've got two rare earth magnets right here, and then the catch is uh, a couple of uh, stainless steel screws uh, for, the, for the closure. So um, I like the fact that they put screws here and not just stamped in some metal or something. That just makes it look a little bit more handcrafted. Plus, if something falls out, you know, you could always replace it. I don't think you'll ever have to, but um, it's nice that they, they do uh, nice finishing touches like that. Uh, so here you can see it's got stainless steel hinges, very good quality. And a special note, this box only opens to 90 degrees. So it doesn't open flat like some boxes. Um, I actually like that because uh, some of my boxes, they do open uh, flat. There's nothing to stop them. And so when you open it, you kind of have to, it's awkward. You kind of have to hold it and keep it with your the back of your uh, your fingers and the back of the box to keep the lid from kind of flopping around. I don't know, it's just kind of a distraction. So I like that this stays open by itself. Also, if you want it as a display, it'll stay open very nicely. Um, so I, I like that. And um, you should definitely make sure that you don't uh, open this beyond 90 degrees because that's gonna probably pull the hinges out. So um, just be aware of that. And um, on the outside, here are the uh, exterior of the hinges. And then one thing to note is that there's a little dot here and that's not decorative, it actually serves a purpose. It's, a, it's an orientation marker. So one risk you have with compartment boxes like this is that um, you don't know which side is up and which side is down. So you might just grab it out of your pack and open it, uh, not realizing it's upside down and all your flies fall out. And that's actually happened to me. So I appreciate the fact that they did that. I appreciate even more that they used mother of pearl and you probably really can't see how beautiful that is uh, in the camera, but there's going to be a close up video, uh, close up photo of this on the, on my accompanying blog post for this video. So um, if you want to see how pretty it really is, go there and check that out. So it, it has a purpose, but it's also beautiful. It's kind of a Bauhaus concept really. So matter of fact, many things about this box or Bauhaus, I would say. Um, but I, I really like that. You know, they could have just done, they could have painted it on, they could have done plastic or acrylic or something, but they chose real 
mother of pearl and I, I really uh, appreciate that. So um, all around, I just really like this box. Um, the inside lid has this the stamp, that's just the company name, Jisakuya. And um, again, they could have done, you know, a big ugly logo on, on the outside like a lot of companies do, but they didn't. They chose to just go with a, a simple, elegant, uh, you know, just write their name, their company name on the inside of the lid. And I, I think that's really cool. So um, I'm very, very happy with this box. It's light, it's strong, it's gorgeous. Um, it's just got uh, so many things going for it. So um, definitely go to uh, my uh, website, TenkaraTalk.com. Um, and get more information about this box and more photos. And to buy one, go to Tenkara Ya. And um, there's, there'll also be a link to, the, to their store um, on my blog post for this video. So thanks for watching. And if you love fly, uh, wooden fly boxes as much as I do, definitely check this uh, fly box out from Tenkara Ya.